Hello everyone and welcome back. It's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and today we're going to be making another tutorial from the contents of the Ethereal Opal collection which I helped to curate along with Eureka Crystal Beads. And today's tutorial is going to be for this pair of earrings that incorporates the two-hole check glass honeycomb beads, which will be a part of a bezel for these 8 millimeter crystal chatons. And everything you need can be found in the Ethereal Opal collection, which I'll link down below. As of right now, though, that collection has sold out. However, you can still get your hands on all the materials you need to make these earrings in this color palette, as well as other color palettes. You see some other examples I have below. Eureka Crystal Beads has all these different products in many fun color varieties, so feel free to switch it up and be adventurous with your choices. As usual, everything will be linked and listed right down below the video so you know exactly what you need. Besides our honeycombs and crystals, we'll be using some size 11 round seed beads, size 11 delica beads, toho drops, and 4 millimeter round pearls. I'll also be using some 6 pound test fire line as my beading thread and a size 11 beading needle today. And besides that, you'll just need your earring findings and your usual beading tools. To get started, you can gather up your materials and go ahead and thread your beading needle with a comfortable length of beading thread. You'll probably want to plan on about 4 feet per earring. And once you do that, we can jump into this tutorial. Our first step is to pick up one honeycomb bead, and these are the same on both the front and the back, so for this case it doesn't matter which hole we go through at first. Then pick up a delica bead, and you're going to do an alternating pattern of honeycomb and delica six times. And then just pull those down and leave yourself about a five or so inch tail that you'll be weaving back in later. And what you can do now is sew through the first honeycomb again and the next delica and go ahead and sew through the next honeycomb bead. And that brings these beads together into a loop just like this. And I like to make a single half hitch knot right there in between the honeycomb bead and the delica bead just to start to secure this a little bit without being too tight. And with that little knot there, I'm just going to go ahead and go through the next delica and the next honeycomb bead. And then you can step up by sewing through the outer hole or the open hole of that same honeycomb. Now we're going to be using some of our 4 millimeter round beads, so go ahead and pull those out. And we're going to be adding in a delica, a 4 millimeter, and a delica in between the open holes of each of these honeycomb beads. So go ahead and sew through the next one. And repeat delica, 4 millimeter, and delica, and then sew through the next honeycomb. And repeat that all the way around. And then when you get to your last one, you can continue sewing through the next delica, four millimeter and delica, and then sew through the next honeycomb bead. At this time, I find it's a good point to add a needle onto your tail thread and then weave that back in and secure it just to get it out of the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will meet you right back. 
All right, so now with the tail thread out of the way and with the working thread coming out of this honeycomb bead through the outer hole, I'm going to turn back around and step down to the inner hole of that same honeycomb bead. And then I'm gonna proceed through the next Delica. At this point, we're gonna start working on the back of the spot that's going to hold our stone in place. And really, you can use either the Delicas or the seed beads interchangeably since they're approximately the same size. In this example, I'll go ahead and pick up three of our round seed beads. And we're going to skip the honeycomb and sew through the next Delica bead. And we're gonna do this all the way around, once again, picking up three of our round seed beads, skipping the next honeycomb and sewing through the next Delica. And we have one more to go, so we'll pick up the three seed beads, sew through the Delica, and also sew up through the first two round seed beads that you get to. Now pick up one round seed bead and locate that next section of three seed beads that you had just added. Go through the one in the center and do that all the way around. So pick up one round seed bead, and then identify the next group of three and go through the one in the center. Keep going until you've done that all the way around. And I'm at my last one. So I'm gonna go through the one in the center of that group, which is where we started. And then sew around that ring of seed beads one more time, going through all the ones now that are forming the center of that ring. and go a little bit past the point of where you started. And then you can step down by following your thread path through the seed beads, make your way to the next Delica and be coming out of that. And this is going to be a little bit concave once we're all finished. That's going to be holding the stone in place, but we're not gonna insert it quite yet. We're going to now pick up three of our round seed beads. And once again, skip the honeycomb and go through the next Delica. We're now working on the portion that's going to hold the top of the stone in place. So repeat this all the way around, pick up three round seed beads, skip the honeycomb and go through the next Delica. So we have our groups of three all the way around the top portion now, and I'm coming out of this Delica that's right here in between these two honeycombs. I'm gonna sew through the next honeycomb, 
And this time we're gonna add a drop bead in between each honeycomb. So pick up a drop and then sew through the inner hole of the next honeycomb and repeat that all the way around. Picking up a drop and sewing through the next honeycomb. When you get to the end, you can sew through the honeycomb like you would, and then sew through the delica. Then sew through the next three round seed beads. And this time pick up one delica and sew through the next group of three seed beads. And repeat that all the way around, picking up a delica and sew through those next three seed beads at the top. So now you have something that looks a little bit like this, and we can go ahead and sew through the next Delica bead. And at this time, go ahead and insert your stone face up into the center of that seed bead ring you just created. Pick up two of your Delica beads, then sew through the next Delica. And don't worry about getting this too tight yet. We'll be going around this several times to tighten it up. And right now you just want to get these two Delica beads in between each of the Delica beads that are already sitting in this ring. So pick up two and go through the next Delica all the way around. These are going to be sitting on top of the stone. And then when you go through that last one, you can also continue through the first two that you had added. Make sure these seed beads are staying up at the top and not getting caught up underneath the stone. And you can see that these beads are not tightened onto the stone yet. What we wanna do next is just now sew through the groups of two Delica beads that we just added. and start pulling these tightly after each pass. I'm gonna go around again. Just like that, and you may need to just take your needle and pop those seed beads out just to train them to be sitting outside of the Delica beads. And now we're going to take it a step further by going through our next Delica 
then the group of two, then the next single delica, and going around that whole ring at least one more time, if not two times. That's really gonna bring these Delica beads closer together and tighten up the look around the center of the stone. So this is what the front of your piece should look like and here is a look at the back just make sure your stone is nice and central sitting inside there and all these little seed beads around the edges are sticking out so the center is kind of coming to a point and your delicas are nice and tight around the center once you've done that you can follow your thread path and make your way to the outside of the piece i'll just go back that way and then step up and out through the same honeycomb. And then go through this next Delica bead. And this is the point where we are going to add another small area of beadwork to the top around one of these pearls, which will also connect to our ear wire. So coming out of this Delico that's to the left of the pearl, I'm going to pick up three of the round seed beads, one Delica, and three round seed beads. Then I'll go down through the Delica on the other side as well as the honeycomb bead. Then I'll go through the inner hole of the honeycomb bead. I'll go through the drop or the Delica, whichever one I can get through. Then go through the next honeycomb, where I can turn around again and head back up that new section of beads, up through the Delica, the three round seed beads on the left, and through that Delica bead that's on the top. Next, I'm gonna pick up three round seed beads again. And I'm going to sew back through that same Delica. And now we have a little Pico up there. Sew up through the right hand seed bead. Then sew left through the one on the top. And then sew through those four beads again, just to secure that a little bit before we move on and come out of the seed bead at the top. Now pick up a four millimeter, a seed bead, a four millimeter, a seed bead, a four millimeter, one more seed bead and one more four millimeter. So you have this, pull that down and sew back through the seed bead at the top. Continue sewing through the next four millimeter. And on this side, pick up a Delica, a round seed bead and a Delica. Then sew through the next four millimeter and pull. Then you can pick up two Delicas, skip the next round seed bead and go through the four millimeter. Then pick up a Delica, a round, and a Delica. Skip the next seed bead, go through the four millimeter. Pull that, you should have something that looks like this so far. And we're gonna go back around through those beads again.
and come out of that first Delica that's on the top. And it's up to you, you can directly uh, sew through your ear wire and add that in right there. And sew through the next Delica bead. And through the rest of these beads around this portion. And then I like to sew around those beads one more time, especially if I've added in the ear wire, just for a little more security. And sometimes I'll do a half hitch knot right before the ear wire, go through the ear wire, and put one in right after. There we go, just stabilizes it a tiny bit more. And now continue sewing through the beads, make yourself several half hitch knots, weave your thread back in, and that is all for making these earrings. You'll just back up the video if you need to to make your other earring to complete your pair. I'm just sewing right back down this section. And you can sew around as much as you want to reinforce all of this. And then trim off your excess thread. And now your new earring is complete. So that is everything for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you plan to give these a try or have given these a try or anything else you'd like to say. Once again, I'll leave the full list of materials and quantities and links right down below the video so you know exactly what you need if you'd like to make these. And you can find everything at Eureka Crystal Beads. Even if the entire collection itself is sold out, you'll be able to get these types of products separately. So thank you so much for joining me today. I love having you here. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already because I have much more to come. Go ahead and give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and feel free to share this tutorial with your other bead loving friends, especially if you think they might like to make a pair too. That's all I have for now, but until next time, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day and as always, happy beading.